Good morning. I'm Sydney Persing. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national news recently, but for the wrong reason. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange County and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the OWASA website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. It's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up to the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to climb for the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm Emma Holler. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the OWASA website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. It's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up to the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got a chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get a chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Ashley Beige, and here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headline recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week, allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're, but they're enough to make the university la launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The town of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April and see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the OWASA website. The winner, winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. It's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Katherine Johnston. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but there are enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to produce, pursue transfers from UNC and more could still follow. The town of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the OWASA website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get their view of Carolina from the top. They, there, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Natalie Hardin. Here's your news update. UNC's been in the national headlines recently, but not for all the right reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racial and sensitive remarks. 
Details haven't been released, but there's enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The town of Chapel Hill and Carver are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever water conservation challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the water conservation pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the golden faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There they got their chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got to fast pass to skip the line. That's the latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm Robert Tegolian. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're sure enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused her four, four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns and Chapel Hill and Carborough the towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb, the Bell Tower Climb. <laughs> Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm Toddy Collett. Here is your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Audrey Clegg. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Haschel was put on leave last week for alleg allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water Su and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of all of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who don donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm Mark Goldbach. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't yet been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has already caused 
four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the OWASA website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their own mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm Charlotte MacArthur. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspicion has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the OWASA website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated, donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Caroline Mangan. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racial and sensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC and more could still follow. The town of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the OWASA website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's, senior, and it's a senior tradition, the bell tower climb of hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up to the 128 steps to see a view of, the, of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their remark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Cambria Haro, and here is your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but all for the wrong reasons. R women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racial racially insensitive remarks. Details have not been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April and see to see who can get the highest percentage of, the, of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the OWASA website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors have made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. They are all, they're, there they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students wait for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast skip pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm Marin Harold, and here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC and could still follow... What? Oh, sorry. Okay. 
The towns of uh, the towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever water conservation challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of the residents to take the water conservation pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will go home with the golden faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the bell tower climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to take a view from the Carolina from the top. They also got, they also got there, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get to the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20 at 19 cents got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Peyton Walker. Here's your news update. UNC's been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever water conservation challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the water conservation pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm Jonathan DiTullio. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for, the, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever conservation challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm Abby Hall. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has called, caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange County and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the bell tower climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up to the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There they got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Keaton Everly. Here's your news update. UNC's been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow.
The towns of Ch Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever, ever water conservation challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the water conservation pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the golden faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the bell tower climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got a chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Megan Maloney. Here's your news update. UNC's been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released yet, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb, but class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Kennedy Parkins and here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia, Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making raci racially insensitive marks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university law to review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Super Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take their Water Conservation Pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get a chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest new update, news update. Thank you for watching. Good morning, I'm Anna Grace Freeberseiser. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange County Sewer and, uh, Sewer and Water Authority for the first ever water conservation challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the water conservation pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get a chance to climb. 20, class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Erica Jacobs. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for the all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach, Sylvia Hatchell, was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, 
and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever water conservation challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the water conservation pledge on the OASA website. The winning town will take home the golden faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the bell tower climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning, I'm Michelle Dixon. Here's your news update. UNC's been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to, pr to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm V. Lee. Here's your news update. UNC has been in national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspensions has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever water conservation challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the water conservation pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower Climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their ways up the 120 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There they also got a chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get a chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm Savon Ward. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever water conservation challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the water conservation pledge on the Owasa website. The winning town will take home the Golden Faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the Bell Tower to climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Good morning. I'm Elizabeth Beecham. Here's your news update. UNC has been in the national headlines recently, but for all the wrong reasons. Women's basketball coach Sylvia Hatchell was put on leave last week for allegedly making racially insensitive remarks. Details haven't been released, but they're enough to make the university launch a review of the entire program. Hatchell's suspension has caused four players to pursue transfers away from UNC, and more could still follow. The towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough are partnering with the Orange Water and Sewer Authority for the first ever Water Conservation Challenge. The towns will compete through the end of April to see who can get the highest percentage of residents to take the Water Conservation Pledge on the Owasa website. 
the winning town will take home the golden faucet. And it's a senior tradition, the bell tower climb. Hundreds of graduating seniors made their way up the 128 steps to get a view of Carolina from the top. There, there they also got the chance to leave their mark on the iconic tower by signing their names. Some students waited for hours to get the chance to climb. Class of 2019 members who donated at least $20.19 got a fast pass to skip the line. That's your latest news update. Thanks for watching. Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some of the information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 in the Lauder Milk lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring in any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Heckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine, so if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place on, in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Laudermilk Lot. Graduate students should meet in the front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring in any food, drink, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine, so if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan on training on a graduate. This graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up at the caps and gowns by 8.30 at Laudermark Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drink, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudoun Milk Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring food or drinks or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you are graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be in, to be in lined up their gowns, caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermilk Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in politi political science. 
The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you're planning on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be in, lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Louder Milk Lot. Graduate students should meet in the front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring in any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keaton Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you are graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduate will need to be in lineup in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Lot Milk Lot. Graduate students should meet in the front of the Juju Chess statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year, commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you are graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their cap and gowns by 8.30 at Louder Mill Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keene Stadium, rain or, sh rain or shine. So if there's a rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Glenn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be in their line in their caps and gown at 8.30 in the Ladder Milk lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drink, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at the Loudermilk lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring in any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. And this year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn? 
Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information that you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermick Lot, and graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drink, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. And again, the Keenan uh, ceremony will be held in Keenan, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn. Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you are graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their cap and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermilk Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of Choo Choo's Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend this ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need if, to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. This graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermilk Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermilk Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food or drinks or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermilk Lot. And graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. Now the ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine, so if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the Spring Commencement Ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you're planning to cheer on a graduate. The graduate ceremony will take place in Keenan Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermilk Lot. 
graduate students should meet in the front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. Now, no tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food or drinks into backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is John, sorry, CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Memorial Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermilk Lot. Graduate students should meet in the front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermilk Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring in any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Ruckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Canaan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you are graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermilk Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drink, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need if you are going to be graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The ceremony will take place at Keenan Stadium on at 9 a.m. Uh, undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Loudermilk Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Rackford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you're graduating or if you plan to cheer on, cheer on a graduate. The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns at by 8.30 at Laudermilk Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine. So if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need if you, uh, to, know, uh, to know if you're graduating or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. 
The graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Louder Milk Lot. Graduate students should be in the front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanities CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine, so if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or poncho. Lynn? Thousands of Carolina students are getting ready to become alumni at the spring commencement ceremony on May 12th. Here's some information you'll need to know if you are graduating or if you plan on, or if you plan on cheering on a graduate. The, graduate, the graduation ceremony will take place in Keenan Memorial Stadium at 9 a.m. Undergraduates will need to be lined up in their caps and gowns by 8.30 at Lauder Milk Lot. Graduate students should meet in front of the Choo Choo Justice statue. No tickets are needed to attend the ceremony, but friends and family will not be able to bring any food, drinks, or backpacks into the stadium. This year's commencement speaker is Habitat for Humanity CEO Jonathan Reckford. He graduated from Carolina in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in political science. The ceremony will be held in Keenan Stadium, rain or shine, so if there's rain in the forecast, you might want to bring an umbrella or a poncho. Lynn?